Welcome back, everyone. For over 125 years, Chicago's historic fine arts building on South Michigan Avenue has been a haven for the arts. I and mean, this morning, we're getting a look at what visitors can experience at the free Second Friday's open studio events. Good morning, Jackie. What do you have going on? Ryan and Dana, good morning to you. Yes, I can't wait to talk about the, the second Friday events because I actually didn't know that this was a thing and it's been a thing for a long time and it's a great opportunity to be able to come in, meet some of the artists who uh, have set up shop in this beautiful historic building, but it's also just an opportunity to see this beautiful historic building and explore the history behind it. I'm here with Jacob Harvey this morning who is the uh, Managing Artistic Director. Uh, okay, good morning to you. Good morning, welcome to the Fine Arts Building. Well, thank you so much. First, we just have to mention the old school elevators because I think anyone who's come into this building before uh, remembers the, actually I just pointed, that's not the elevator itself, <laughs> this is the elevator. Um, but you gotta tell me, I mean these are, these are really, are they original elevators? We believe that they are original to the building, so okay. they're about 125 years old. Jeez. They are still human operated and we believe the last public human operated elevator in the city of Chicago right oh now. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. wild. It, it sort of reminds me of the movie Titanic because you see the the door across and the whole thing. Um, let's talk about these Second Friday events. So what is that? What is that experience like for somebody who comes in? They are free, which is which is great. That's right, free, open to the public. The Second Friday of every month, the Fine Arts Building opens its doors to yeah. the public, and local Chicagoans come and engage with artists and the artisans in this building, and really get to get a firsthand look at what's being created, made, built, and and uh, you know exploring the Fine Arts Building. Uh, speaking of things that have been made, created here in this building, there is such fantastic history. So this is a good opportunity when folks first get here to uh, first see how uh, the building originally looked. I, I think this is such a cool structure here to be able to kind of see this, some of these pictures. Yeah, so we're standing here in one of our uh, historic exhibits of the Fine Arts Building, and this room really commemorates about the first few 30, you know, 30 years, few decades of the building. This model, which was uh, um, designed and fabricated by Eleanor Kahn, a local mm. designer, um, lighting designed by Eric Watkins, really encapsulates those first 30 years. So you've got these transparencies um, showing different photos that are representative of the artists and, and original tenants of the building. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna kind of zero in on this photo here, which we can also show uh, there's a larger one that's maybe a little bit less reflective <laughs> on this side, yeah. but, but it's about Wizard of Oz. Yes. Wizard of Oz was created here. Yes. Yes. So the illustrator, William Denslow, uh, was one of the original uh, tenants of the building. Oh. And he met L. Frank Baum in what was effectively a book club here in the Fine Arts Building called the Caxton Club. And they basically created the Wizard of Oz here at the Fine Arts Building. It was originally drawn here. Jacob, so much, so much more to talk to you uh, about this morning. Can't wait to chat. Uh, there's another picture right there, but we're going to send it back to you, Ryan and Dana, in the studio. A lot to see here from the Fine Arts Building. And that second Friday event is happening next Friday, of course because that's the second Friday of the month. Back to you. Yeah, a good little look ahead there, Jackie. I mean, that is so cool. I had no idea, you guys, <laughs> that the Wizard of Oz was essentially know, created around the corner from wow. our studios. How about you that? You know? That's really amazing. It is, it is. so cool. It is so, so cool. cool. And it's a really cool yes. building as well. All right, Jackie, see you a little later today. Thank you. All right, for more than 125 years, Chicago's historic fine arts building on South Michigan Avenue in Ida B. Wells has been a haven for the arts of all kind. This morning, our Jackie Kostek giving us a sneak peek of what we can experience at the free Second Friday's open studio events. Jackie, you've shown us some real cool stuff already this morning. Good to see you again. Audrina, good to see you. Not only are we showing you really cool things, but now I'm actually wearing a piece of um, a piece of art from Alex Agudo, who is a, a jewelry maker and has been in this space for two years. Good morning to you, good Alex. Good morning. How are you? Uh, really, really good. So this was such a cool experience for me. But when I walked in, you asked me how I was feeling this morning. Mm -hmm. I said grounded and happy. Why did you choose this necklace then to put on me? It's the earth tones. And so there's mm -hmm. lots of earth tones there. And also citrine symbolizes like grounding and dispelling away any negativity. Mm. So if that's how you were feeling, then let's just enhance it. Let's enhance it. Let's mm -hmm. enhance it. Uh, part of the experience when you come to the second Friday's event mm -hmm. here at the uh, the Fine Arts Building is you can come in, meet you, which is so cool, and then you also get to make jewelry. So Indeed. take me through the process of what somebody would experience when they come in and see your studio for the first time. Well, the thing that I want them to see is obviously like what my creative process is. Yes. Because it's 
I'm as an artist, you know, we tend to be very all over the place. Mm -hmm. But um, I have little stations where you know they get to see how I create the jewelry, and then um, I take them through like what is the final product because we have two sections. This is the creative room, and that's the finished product. Yeah. And then they get to see like how my organization is, like where do I put my things, and how it inspires me. And I put like little cues around to just kind of continue with that inspiration. So I guide them through that. I love that. So um, part of it is what you just saw a few minutes ago in in the tease is all of the folks who come in here and, and make something themselves, they dig into uh, this random bowl. What do you call this again? So I call it the mystery bowl. The mystery bowl, mystery bowl. And and I mean, what does that teach people about the jewelry making process and just, it's a life lesson, right? It is, it is. So basically what I always tell people is like, just go ahead, dig your, dig your hands in there, close your eyes. And then when you bring it out is what you're gonna be working with. Mm. As artists, sometimes we're presented with different types of materials and we have to work with what we have. Yep. Um, and like you said, it's a life lesson as well. Sometimes it's what's presented and how you are going to put it together. And that's the final product. I love and it. And you guide it through that. So yes. this is the whole idea behind it. Well, these this. are the three pieces I've put on <laughs> so far, but I also uh, made a little J into uh, a little gold um, piece, which was pretty cool too. Let's get correct. up really quick, Alex, of and course. just show off uh, the other part of your showroom. So this is all, uh, everything that is finished and for sale is in here. That is correct. What has jewelry making added to your life, Alex? Um, well, number one, it lets me be, it, it brought me patience. It makes me feel like um, no matter what I'm presented with, I just come into my studio and I make something and it's just, it brings instant gratification. So it yeah. just lets me know, Yes, things are a little bit difficult, but things are going to get better and they're going to be beautiful. And it's just the way that I put it together that what's, what's going to make this, um, it just makes my day every single, like just good. I just yes. feel good after finishing a piece. Alex, your work is as beautiful as you oh, are as a human, you. which is so, which is saying something. I mean, the artist is reflected, or the art is reflected in the artist. Oh, and vice versa. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for your time oh, no, this thank morning. You. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Audrina, come check out, come introduce yourself to, uh, to Alex and everybody else here on these second Friday events here at the Fine Arts Building. Just a lot to experience, a lot of people to meet, and jewelry to make. So it's a <laughs> right. lot. Very, very cool. So back to you. All right, Jackie, love the messages and the positive affirmations along with the art and the jewelry. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Me Thanks too. to Alex as well.